take his couch. Um, unfortunately, I already did an intro, but for some reason, the audio did not work. Anyway, uh, I know it's been a long while since my last video or even appearance on YouTube, um, but I've got requested that I would do a tutorial on how I do my beards. So, I'll be showing you guys and prepare, be prepared, it is a very long video, but I'll try to scrunch it down to a, as short as I can, so bear with me. I mean, you can probably like skip most of it, uh, because, I mean, even if I speed it up, it will still be pretty long. Um, I'll be narrating over it, but I will be also putting down like things that you will need down below. Um, so, like if you like, like if you are going to try and do your own beard, perhaps, um, or you know, guys, you know the drill. Okay, I'll try to do more videos. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Bye. What you will need is liquid latex or latex milk, depends what you are uh, calling it. And you need a container to put it in, you will need oil and also container where to put it. I'm using old juggered cups. You will need a brush for the latex preferably, um, natural hair and your own You'll need toilet paper. Uh, if it's more than one uh, layers, you'll need to rip it so that you'll have just one layer. And also, you need to shred that into uh, small pieces. I will also put all the ingredient ingredients uh, or tools you'll be needing in the des description box, so don't worry if you miss them. Then you'll be needing glue. Uh, this is um, non-water solent. So what is it? Well, you'll need glue, and then you'll need your hair. Uh, I'm using wool crepe, you can buy that, it's pretty cheap, uh, I'll be using white, then you'll, you'll need hair straightener, straight, straightener, mm. apparently I cannot speak today, um, and scissors, I'll be using hairdresser scissors, so preferably extremely sharp so yeah the glue one is um you do not don't use glue that you can like wash away with water uh, because just do yourself a favor and don't do that um, because it honestly won't stick also you'll be needing glue remover for later unless you you know want to be stuck with that. So pour your latex and oil into different containers. Uh, obviously have mirror, good lighting, uh, and I'll be starting with the brush uh, and the latex and you know just apply it to your skin. This is uh, actually not advised apparently at least they say it so like do not apply latex to your skin okay if you have like allergy to latex then okay don't but I mean I don't really get anything out of it so I just apply it uh, apply really thin layers and uh, you need to kind of like wash your latex out of the brush in the oil do not use water, it will just ruin your brush. Uh, also, you need to remove the latex from the brush while it's wet, because if it's dry in the brush, your brush is ruined. Trust me, I've ruined few brushes because of that. 
So thin layers of latex, uh, you can skip the latex part if you are only going to you do the beard and use it once. I, however, use my beards more than once. So I'm doing a latex base because then I can use it again. So thin coats of latex and when after you're oiled or you know clean your brush in oil, uh, just wipe it to toilet paper or whatever paper you have. Uh, so it's dry and doesn't have latex in it anymore. Uh, when you're doing the latex base, do it a little bit bigger than you are planning your beard to do. Don't do the mustache part if there is one and kind of like keep it simple in that way. Like make it strong where your jawline and on your chin and don't forget under parts. Um, and it's okay if it's like uh, on your cheeks because when it's thin layers it's actually pretty you can you can see through it because they're so thin layer it but it has a strong hold which is good so your beard won't fall off but make it sure that it's like it has a good layer on your like jaw area And don't get it on your hair, just side note, uh, because it will be bitch to remove from hair. That's why I'm like trying to get my hair out of the way. I mean, been there, done that, so um, you don't need to do that anymore. Uh, you'll be needing few coats and you'll be seeing soon enough, I think. That I'll be adding the shredded toilet paper pieces uh, onto the latex so it will be more stronger. Also, don't mind that I look gross, otherwise, just you know, ignore that. This is not about my looks. Well, kinda is, because beard is my looks, but whatever. Oh, shut up. So take your paper, toilet paper piece, one sheet, or what is it, one, one layer of it, and while the latex is damp, pat it gently to it and add a layer of latex on top of it. Do these on the major parts, uh, so basically your jawline and on chin and under your chin. Make sure your brush is always clean when you work with it or that it doesn't have lumps of semi or dry, full on dry uh, latex because it will just make your mm, work harder, I guess, in a way. I mean, it becomes like sticky and icky and just... Uh. Also, don't get latex on your clothes. It's uh, harder to remove there, but from skin it's okay. So yeah, do not drop it on your clothes.
like seriously clean that brush up immediately and remember to keep your latex uh, closed um, and then just you know let let the latex dry uh, soon you'll be seeing how does it look after it's dried and back this is how you test if the latex is dry tap it gently and if there is nothing on your finger then it's dry it feels a little sticky but that's okay uh, now because it is indeed a very yellowish tone uh, I tend to just take some concealer or foundation it doesn't matter if it doesn't match your skin tone you can use whatever you have uh, I'm actually using some of my old um, I think it's concealer uh, or foundation not really sure it's it's a liquid uh, and then just tap it with a makeup sponge uh, onto the latex so it's not as yellow but also you need to have a concealer or foundation that will match your skin tone because you will be also needing that but first just cover that bitch up with whatever skin tone foundation I mean sure you know don't use too too dark uh, but so that it will cover it because I know that because I'm very pale uh, so the light ones really don't cover it that well you can use cream foundation or liquid foundation it doesn't really matter um, yeah so cover it up also if you don't want to use sponge you can use brush or just your finger you know pick pick your weapon I don't care after you have covered <laughs> it with the concealer um, start covering the edges uh, with the matching concealer or foundation so it's like you know there's not a hard edge so smooth it out on the edge part hair part make sure your straightener will be on and it will be hot so don't burn yourself please okay then take the wool crepe and the scissors well you don't need them exactly right now but the wool crepe you will start to tear it apart from the braid-ish thing that it's from but don't don't like tear it too much apart um, tear about 10 to 15 centimeters and then take your straightener because it's very very curly and just you know you can pull pretty hard through it it will take few tries or times not tries few times to straighten it enough also you can pretty much do all the things that you would do to a normal hair uh, to wool crepe since it is actual wool which is actual hair from animal then take your scissors and cut like about maybe half centimeter or centimeter uh, wide sections from it I also suggest that you will have some sort of paper uh, under where you are cutting because this will end up having like a shit ton of 
little hairs around so it's easier to clean up if you have like old paper or you know like a newspaper or magazine then take the glue and you're also needing some wooden sticks wooden cocktail sticks um, the glue comes with brush. Uh, mine's the big bottle. Um, I have Grimas. You can also use like spirit gum. Uh, but yeah, they, they come usually with, uh, with brushes and you can use them as well. I mean, I'm using mine. And when you're doing your beer, do it from down to up. So you'll be doing layers, so obviously start from the bottom and work your way up. Have your hair ready. And then just add the glue on top of the latex and gently press it down to it. Don't glue the whole hair to your face, try it so that you are gluing the top you know, if you imagine how hairs will grow out from skin, they are connected to the bottom of the hair and not the whole hair. You get what I mean? Uh, in this case, the toothpicks come handy because, trust me, you don't want to uh, get your hands on the glue because it will make your working so much harder because you'll be using a lot of hair I mean you'll be seeing me rubbing my fingers to get or to my palm to get rid of the glue uh, it's very annoying so try to use toothpicks to press them gently down um, so yeah that's that's one of the tips that would have been really nice to me when I started doing my first beards out of hair I'm sorry if the beard process doesn't show well enough to there because it's a light, light, light white card uh, beard so it doesn't really show them well and I don't know, I found it really hard to work with this particular time, I don't know why, maybe I become rusty, maybe, maybe it was the hair. Um, so yeah, basically just work your way from down to bottom and it doesn't really, I mean I haven't found any like if you should start from the middle and work towards the edges or from edges to middle, uh, just go with what you feel like is good, but just remember from down to up. It's probably like easiest to start out from like the end of your jaw, kind of like the closest to the ear point. Because if you start them later, it's kind of hard to like see where they are because of the beard. So maybe like from edges to center, maybe that'll be the easiest. I don't know. Everybody has their own style. And like I said, this is just my way of doing the beard. So figure out your own way and these are just the tips that I'm giving you of how I'm doing it. And I'm still honestly working out on how to do it the best way, how to do it the quickest way, what's the best way to do, how to cut the beard and build it and all that. Also what I'm not showing you on this video because it doesn't really matter in the video is that I later dyed the beard while it was on my face. I first thought of using this hair hair silver um, product that you just apply to your hair and it like makes it silver but it was too dark to match the uh, wig that I was going for but then I ended up using 
one of the most easiest things to do is the art pastels and water and the good thing about the pastels is that when you apply them to your beard or hair in general is that when it dries up I mean you have to wet the beard first and then add the pastel to it child pastel uh, because when it dries up it's easy to like comb away or if it comes like too dark and it'll kind of like blend it out if it feels like it's like in too much in one place sort of way also if you feel like the glue brush is too wide in some sections I mean I sometimes have too much uh, I mean it's too wide or it's I mean there's too much hair on already on the way so I feel like because it, it easily gets everywhere because that is a wide brush in the big bottle so use toothpick or a smaller brush to get it into places Also, just so you know guys, I mean latex smells really bad, so don't be surprised. And if you have a uh, skin that is really sensitive, uh, I do not advise adding uh, glue or latex to your skin because it will irritate it. I mean for me, I have a normal skin and whenever I take off the glue and latex my skin is irritated and you need to kind of like take care of it afterwards like a lot of lotion that is hydrating and making your skin just feel better so um, also the glue smells really bad and what smells even worse is the glue remover Latex is easy to take off, you just rip it off, just find a place where it can be like easily like kind of like picked off and then just peel it off. It's really easy, but if you get it on your hair, it will rip it off. It feels kind of awful, so just so you know. And if you get hairs on the glue brush keep it clean like take a toothpick and just pick the hairs out because it really gets annoying for me uh, when I had a small glue bottle I used to have hair in it and then the hair got to the glue and the glue got nasty so keep your brush clean so it will keep your glue clean If you need to do a thick beard, then obviously you need to cut uh, longer pieces and just make uh, layers very close to each other. If you need to do a stubble, like, you know, uh, cut small pieces and then just like put the glue and kind of like throw them in there. I don't know how to explain it, I mean, I've, I've done stubble like once. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've usually done like a normal length beard and it doesn't matter if it's like uneven when you're doing it because in the end you're just going to trim it. Uh, so make it more, um, more, <laughs> make it, Jesus fucking Christ, make it longer rather than too short because it's easier to cut away than like trying to add, add up longer pieces and covering up short patches and that how is how <laughs> that is how you do a beard uh, then uh, of course you need to trim it like 